So what is going on guys, it's your boy Darius, back at it again with another video. Sorry for the weird angle, I'm having some issues with the house, so that's what's going on. That's why I got the lights back here, which by the way, actually, if it looks as good as it looks on my phone, it actually looks a lot better with it. But anyway, so let's see if y'all can, if I can zoom in on this. So as y'all can tell, if you haven't followed me on Facebook or Instagram, please do so. Sorry I'm so far up. Um, please do so because I've had my ears pierced for about a, a couple weeks now. It's the first actual body modification I've had in my entire life, having no tattoos. This was the first one and this is not a 16 gauge like most people start out with. I started out with an 8 gauge because I plan to gauge my ears which I will slowly do a process of that when I start actually tapering them down, which means I start going bigger. So, that's one little update on me. I also do have another update, so let me set up the camera and we'll, we will get right on that. Hurt just as much as the other one? Yep, yep. You want to take you got a picture of that So I'm back guys, sorry if the angle's a little weird, I had to do something different. So, as y'all know, I already know, as y'all have already seen, y'all seen my Glock 19 Gen 3, it's Tiffany Blue, it's chambered in, as you can tell, it is chambered in, uh, oh, you can't, can't, there it is, chambered in 9mm. So, I've had this for a few months, I also run the... I run the Hornaday Critical Defense Ammo, so that is what I run in that one. And then I also went and picked up a brand new toy. I went and picked up a new toy. So, this one is a Springfield XDS. It's chambered in 45 caliber. It is a single stack magazine. So. This is what I will plan on. This is what I'm going to start carrying because as you can tell, which I kind of can't really cut the Glock. As you can tell, they're, um, they're a lot different sizes, which like I said, I like the Glock. I really do. I've always, I've always liked the Glock. But um, I need something. I needed something a little bit smaller, so that's why I picked up the Springfield XDS. I've had this for about a week now. Hadn't really had a chance to actually shoot it yet, but um, hopefully soon I will be putting a video of me shooting it. Got to go get another magazine, so that's on. That's only a five millimeter magazine. What? I mean, five millimeter. It's only a uh, five round magazine. So, like I said, I'm going to go get another magazine. So I'm, a, so I'm going to adjust myself. All right, guys. So. I know this video is a little bit different, but I just wanted to kind of give y'all an update on me before I started giving updates on the cars. Well, the car and the Yukon, I wanted to give a few updates. So, like I said, if you watched my previous videos, my previous video that I put up last week, I've been battling with depression and anxiety and kind of wanted to go a little bit more into detail, but not a whole lot. Um... Like I said in the previous video, mine doesn't stop me from going out and doing stuff. It's just mine, mine takes spells where I just literally don't really do anything. I don't feel like doing anything. I feel like a burden. And I just, more or less, just kind of feel worthless. And so with my anxiety, I want to go out and do stuff, but 
I'm too nervous to try anything new. So that's what I meant by the previous video about it. So like I said, my depression just kind of, I have no drive to really do anything. I don't really want to go out. I kind of force myself to go out and my anxiety kind of stops me from wanting to do anything new, want to try anything new. But other than that, I mean, I'm back to my normal self. Just a word of advice for people. And this, this, this goes not just for me, it goes for anybody. The people who break their backs for people, go all out, try to make everybody happy, try to do everything for people, make sure to check on them. Because most of the time, those are the ones dealing with depression and anxiety because they don't want to let anybody else down. And I know that for a fact because I do it myself. So make sure to check on the friends who just seem overly happy and trying to make everybody happy and just, just check on them. It, it'll really be worth it. So, But um, that's it for today. That's all I really want to do, give an update on me before I start doing the cars. So, I'm going to catch y'all next time. Make sure to come back. Like I said, I will say this. If y'all want any more, I mean, I don't know a lot about depression and anxiety. I, like I said, I kind of battle it myself. But, if you do have that, you're more than glad. You're, you're, you're more than welcome to reach out to me. I will talk to you and help you as good as I can. You know, you can reach me on Instagram um night rider 13 gt and then you can reach me on facebook you can message me on my night rider page you can message me on my personal facebook i will talk to you about it and i'll try to help but um that's it for today i'm gonna catch y'all next time peace yeah i don't believe in destiny i just do what's best for me don't listen to my enemies they're just full of jealousy yeah this legacy you gon' see what's left of me you gon' see success in me you ain't seen the rest of i just want to be the best at what i know better than the rest just watch me grow put me to the test and watch me go this is my quest i'ma make it known they call me obsessive oh i know call me selective with my notes call me aggressive with my flow